Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the recent episodes, I've been working to fulfill all needs in the game of each tier of resident in each theater of play. We're currently over 130 trade routes deep, and we're now working on the investor lifestyle needs after having completed their regular needs and their happiness. So, let's begin. Now, if investor needs weren't complicated enough, we're really getting into the thick of it now by dealing with their lifestyle needs. Because, of course, it means that you're pulling things in from all these different regions. It's probably the most complicated goods in the game, especially to get them something like film reels, which require having artistas in the new world, moving stuff about. It's just really, really complicated. Arguably, I suppose, more complicated are some of the very late game things that you require for the high life investors, but still, it's just one of those pain in the ass things that you have to do, especially what we're going to be tackling next, which is bear fur. Bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica. Right, so we're also researching in the Institute right now another item to get, another character. Toklo the Trapper. He's going to increase bear productivity by 40% and also produce some goose feathers on the side every seven cycles. Now that's to complement another item that I'm currently, oh, I've actually, I'm in possession of already, which is, let me just type bear hunting cabin. There he is, the bait specialist. Affects caribou, etc, etc, etc. Productivity 25%, but here's the important thing. Bear abundance is just provided, and you'll have a new input, which is processing beef. And the extra goods, also every three cycles, you're going to get an extra bit of bear fur as well. So I guess the idea is that, well, ten times ice fishing champion and trainer of some of the best sled dogs in the Arctic. It actually says Arctic. Uh, you'll have to get up very early if you want to earn his seal of approval. Seal. <laughs> Alright, so we've got him. And this is actually a comment in one of the previous episodes that mentioned, Hey, instead of changing the fertility, which was my original idea, you should get this guy that just provides bear fertility here anyway. And that way you get to keep your fertility slots if you want to change a different one somewhere else. Normally, I would always say thank you, and I do say thank you for obviously pointing things out that I don't know, but I actually caught this one. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> at the end of the last episode, when I was looking around at items, I did find it in the item thing. I've gotten in the habit now of any good I'm about to work on, I'll just go in here, type in the item name, and start looking up what I could be getting that will affect it. So I've gotten a lot better with that. If you go back to the very early days of the series, I was very adverse, averse to using any items. Just because I'm not a guy with stats and modifiers, funnily enough, despite this game's heavy reliance on them. Um, although compared to some other games, it's, it's trivial, really. And they make a lot of sense in this game, which is good too. But anyways, I've gotten a little better. I know that the item has now been made back home, so that's what we're going to use on that island to get bear fertility up and running. I've also, just while we're waiting, it's only two minutes to go, while we're waiting on it getting done, I've figured out stamps a bit better. So when you make a new stamp, it does create a category that you can name, and then you can name the thing inside of the category. Uh, which I was getting a little confused on before. So I've made just a co I've reorganized the ones I made in the previous episode. So down here, you know, I got rid of my old building site and, and I copied the train station in case I ever wanted to build it again. Um, so that's now here in industrial ornaments. So we have the large train station and the large building site, which have their own icons now, which is awesome. And then optimizations, I have hunting cabins. Now I noticed something. I don't know if it's actually going to be here. Let's see. Yes, it is. I was playing around and I set up like bear hunting cabins. Um, which I think will be pretty efficient, I think. <laughs> High pitch voice. Um, so I set that up and made it a stamp just for this island. So I was going to build it somewhere over here where I think we can get a decent amount of bear fur cabins in. And I think four or five will be all I need, hopefully. So we'll place that down and that should be nice and easy to do. It's interesting that the blueprints change based on... Oh, stamps, sorry. The stamps change based on the theater that you're in. I guess that kind of makes sense, but I... In some ways, I kind of wish you could just see it all the time anyway, but it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just thought I would mention that. Some people said, are you going to share these with others? Uh, yeah, probably at some point. I don't know exactly when. Maybe when the series ends, I'll just share. I'll try to blueprint as much of my map as possible and just give it all out. The series, I am working on bringing the series to an end. As much as I love it, you know, it's like 150 episodes deep now. That's a lot of time for people to get through anything, and I'd like to start a new one. Uh, of some kind, probably in the form, form of live streaming and also doing these scenarios. Um, so that's why I'm on this path to deliver the needs to everybody and have a completely stable economy, uh, allowing me to walk away potentially forever and leave it running. Although accidents and things like gas exploding and stuff will always seem to happen. I don't know how I can bring that down really. Anyways, uh, let's go pick up these items, deliver them to the Arctic, and we're good to go. Bear hunting cabin. 
There they are, and we'll bring them up to the north. So, Arctic, and we're going to go to Crater Lake. And something else I've been feeling like I need to do is maybe you and you and you. Just go to the New World. You'll be needed over there eventually. Alrighty, nice. Stand to attention for the boss. All right, let's hop over to the Arctic and let's start working on bear fur and everything that they're going to need to get up and running. So, here we are, Crater Lake. I had left two ships here with some material on it previously, so we're pretty good to just get started and get building. Um, so, let's begin. I'm going to go with just a little extra storage just to start us off. Like so. Promotion not possible. Why would that be, huh? Oh, sorry. I haven't transferred the material yet. There we go. And we'll send in some of the steel and just upgrade this as well, because this will improve the loading speed as well. I want to get up to about five. Yeah, something like that should be good. Okay, so to actually get started, it's been a while since I've been in the Arctic, but of course we're going to need things like heat and a canteen, all sorts. So let's canteen, let's just blueprint it. Canteen about there. We'll get rows of six, I think, are typically good for the Arctic. And they should be able to get their coal delivered pretty easily. So we'll pop down a coal thing in here. And we'll do another one somewhere up here. So having them sort of inversed, uh, inverted and offset usually is a good thing. So like that. So it's the same thing, but it's just on different sides because they don't go very far. And something like this. I don't think I'll need this many, but we'll see. Okay, let's try that. Um, the reason I'm bringing it close down... I forgot that a lot of the production buildings require heat as well, so we'll even need to be heating the wait. Wow, that was so loud. Heating the whaling stations and things. Um, but let's get our first few explorers to move in to this brand new island that we took from Arthur a long time ago. Crater Lake. I think it's a nice name for an island. Obviously because of the crater in the center. Kind of looks like a heart, actually. Hmm. All right, let's just do something like that and let's begin. start with this modestly here at the beginning all right so heat is now there so we'll have to start getting some heat um coal not heat so maybe one there i don't know another one there another one there i think it's one to one with each one of these so we'll have three because i need another heater to go out with the bear fur at some point as well so something like that you're not connected are you not oh excuse me i thought you were Okay, looking nice. Our airship is on the way, by the way, to deliver that stuff in. All right, I've got enough wood and everything for all this. All right, so, boom, boom. At least two of these, please. And they'll need to connect to their own warehouse if they can't already reach where they need to go. We'll see. Is there something There's the airship. It looks like they can reach. They got pretty good distance. Um, so the other item that I plan on using is actually already over here, so we'll just go get it on King William Island. Now thanks to that beautiful move tool, if I make any er errors, like having this a little too close to here now, it still says 100%, so they're actually fine. And then I think what you can also do is throw down the caribou, and it doesn't affect the other two. Seems to be the case. And it needs heat, so it'll have to be somewhere like here. Hundred. Hundo. Hundo. Okay. Uh, whaling station next. So we'll pop the whaling station down here. Alright, so that should be coal coming in. Albeit slowly. And then eventually when they get to 100 explorers, which are almost at, we'll have um, pemmican being consumed. We need a cookhouse for it. Let's just throw that down here somewhere as well. Now, of course, some of these things might be rearranged if I do a time lapse, and I'm just kind of get the economy up and running first, and then you can move things around as I see fit. All right, we're all in with all the material, which is good. Let's go pick up this other item. So, was it this one? Yeah, bear hunting cabin. Forest density, 15%. Maintenance is reduced to 100. Reduces the number of trees needed to reach optimal productivity. Let's go. Fly that over as well. 
All right, the poor bastards at the back don't have heat. Um, yeah, you will. I guess you will, but you two won't. Okay, we'll move you guys. Uh, you could live down here. Why not? Why not? Give me a reason. I'll cut that away just in case it hurts productivity. Okay, so this will need to be opened up as well. And will it go all the way down? Eh, not really. We'll just make its own warehouse somewhere at the back. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Let's just speed up time just a little bit to see how we're faring now with all that. So heat should be delivered here, fixing all of these guys. Heat delivered here is operational right now. So let's have a look. So canteen pemmican is now going to be consumed. And if I just check the consumption rates, yeah, we're obviously totally fine for that. The raw material for coal, we are consuming a little bit more than we're producing. Oh, but that's because the other one's um, planting its trees right now. So that's okay. And they're not at full strength yet either. So that's okay. They'll be fine. What else? Agriculturally, one-to-one, one-to-one. One. Love it. Okay, great. So yeah, totally fine then. Pemmican's getting made in abundance. And we don't need any more raw resources at the bottom. So let's operate with my stamp and see, did I do this correctly? So this is right. I don't, can't quite see the radiuses or anything, but I think it was just somewhere. I just blueprinted it. I said like, yeah, somewhere here. And that should probably work, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. How far down to the right could I go? Maybe just about here. If it needs to move, it needs to move. Ooh, close one. Maybe I'll bring it down one level. Don't know if... Oh, no, I don't need to. Nice. It does line up nicely. It turns anyway, but whatever. <laughs> All right, heat first. Trade Union or Arctic Lodge next. Get the two warehouses in. And then we'll build all five of these. But we'll turn them off because they're too much to handle right now. So something we'll have to do, we'll just slow time back down, is deliver beef. That's the idea, right? These guys are now be going to be consuming beef. They're going to want... Yeah, that's going to extra productivity, and then so they'll need even more beef. And then they're going to have that forest density in there to let me pack them in a bit closer. So we should have a uh, 100%. So I actually did check this. I was wondering if because they just use beef, do they still need their forest density and stuff? They do. Their base productivity is still affected um, based on the space that's around them. So I thought like, oh my, they might actually just turn into straight up factories then, you know, like you send in an item, you take out another item, but it's not the case. Um, they still are going out and baiting bears out in the woods and they do need clear space around them to do it. So that's totally fine. All right, so we've just got one active at the moment. No big deal. Um, how the hell do you have the beef to do that? They're getting their first one for free, I think, because uh, I don't think I... Oh, the cycle probably started before I put the item in. That's an interesting way to cheese it. <laughs> um, anyway. Right. Actually, what is the... Um... Yeah, okay. Because there's no fertility for bears here, so I guess that's... We're, I've somehow just managed to get that started for free. I'm not really sure how I did that. Because there definitely wasn't beef here. I just set up the island. <laughs> All right, so we need to get beef. So let's just have a look globally at where beef comes from. Uh, 20 to 25 consumption. So our consumption is 25 at the moment. Might go up even higher depending on when we turn on those other buildings. I don't know if they've already counted or not. But let's just work on getting some extra beef going. So I'm just trying to think, do I need to do anything else here? They're missing some coal. That should be okay though, right? Raw material, coal, six for six. Yeah, I think it's just going to take a moment. It's just gotten fed another batch right now. So they should be okay. Yeah. So lifestyle, what could we need? Oh yeah, we've got to turn on all the lifestyle, of course. That's our rule in this place. So they need bread, tallow, and hot sauce. Funnily enough, we just set up extra bread quite recently. And that reminds me, I had one thing I had left to do out here, which was to duplicate this. Don't worry about this. I'll talk it through in the future. But for now, I just need to at least get that down. That should be fine. All right. Back we go. Let's just give them a thing here as well. Anyways. Bread, tallow, and hot sauce. Alright, let's check. Uh, if we could deliver extra people here, we can turn on all those things. So, I'll tell you what. What would be better to do first? I think the bread route better to do before beef. Okay, so let's do that first. So, wrong screen. Trade routes, bread. We just kind of set up. Oh my god. Game, come on bread. There we go. 
old world. So in the old world, we have a bread delivery route carrying bread around all these different places. Uh, and it seems to be working. 900 in our capital, 300, 400, 100, and zero where it ends anyway, which is it's not feeding anyone there anyway, so that's totally fine. That's working with one ship. The next one would be export bread. So this is where it comes in from uh, Cape Trelawney, right? Ex Cape Trelawney makes bread and sends it to Lusk, and that seems fine as well, I guess. Don't see anything wrong there. So what we'll need to do is create a new route. Let's just get rid of this old one. Trade route. And this is going to be in the strange Arctic to Old World category. And we'll start it at Lusk. And we'll go to the Arctic. And we'll say, go here, 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 here. Not there. That's a gas island. There and there. So I'm actually leaving it on the way. I'm well, leaving a few, I guess. But we can always modify them if you need to. So I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. So I want you to load up with bread. I'll just put a regular ship on. Actually, a ship like this might be good. And then unload there. And then I'm going to stagger it. We're just unloading 50 at every single place. And I think it'll work out. The reason I'm doing that is because, of course, now if I'm activating... If I've got explorers anywhere on these islands, which I do, I'll have to deliver them bread, right? The only complicated part is that we also have two glaciers that could do with having that also. But we'll leave that for another time to do the airship routes to give them stuff. When we focus on the actual Arctic itself and their residents, then we can look at that. So this should be fine. I'm also going to tell you to... Um, you're going from Lusk as well. I might tell you to wait. Don't leave until you pack 300, because there's no point. Yeah. All right, so let's say, um, what we call this? This is a Arctic to Old World. So it's a import bread. Some people have mentioned the naming conventions can be a little strange. It just depends on perspective. The perspective that I go with is the category of where it's coming from. You could argue the category names are bad. You're probably right, <laughs> but because every like the old world is really the capital place, although it's not the capital production place. But I, I kind of I'm okay with that. It means that the old world is importing a lot of things most of the time. But there is a giant factory island that produces a lot of stuff there, so you could say, well, maybe that's your main producer. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it's for me to understand. And anyone that ever takes the save in the future, I think they will get it because it'll say like, it'll be straightforward. I think anyway. Right, so something else to do. Thinking, Speaking of this capital island, we need to be bringing in iron here. I noticed that um, we don't have enough iron globally. And really strong, like heavy amounts of raw materials I'm happy to bring in through Docklands. That's the kind of idea of it, I think. So yeah, let's just something like 2,000. I'm not going to work out the exact... Well, let's work it out. Why not? All right, so raw materials. We'll look at iron. Global it. So we make 80. We need 180. So 100 per minute uh, times about 23 minutes usually for a, a round trip for the guy to arrive. So let's just type in, um, I'm just going to get my calculator. I know it's 100 times something, but I'm just not very smart. And I, sometimes I make mistakes. So 23, 2300, of course. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Better, better to get it right than just me going like, yeah, it's like 20, 230. <laughs> Um, all right. Are we good then? So that's all good. That's bread being delivered. The next one would be tallow. Now, tallow, if I recall correctly from a previous episode, tallow, globally, we don't make enough. No, but I didn't even check, but bread, I think we do. Yeah, so that's fine. But tallow, unfortunately, no. Now, tallow is an interesting one because I think it actually gives them heat. We're short, though. However, in Cape Trelawney... This is where we make tallow, and we have a ridiculous amount of pigs here. Like, just huge amounts. And it's on fire right now. <laughs> That's how good it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is almost do this a little bit temporarily. The tallow route requires so much to get right, and I'm not focusing on the Arctic right now. I'm just focusing on the investors, and this is merely something to get the fur made to give to them. And I don't think it'll make the bottom fall out, at least not for a long time, because we've got 3,400 tallow, and it's not going anywhere. So this will actually be okay. 
But I'll have to check what else uses tallow and why it's in such high demand. Because I'm not really too sure. I know soap uses it. But beyond that, I'm a bit confused of why it's so high. And I feel like I'll just be buried in statistics if I sit there trying to trace that one back. So I'll, d I'll figure that out, obviously, but just not right now. What I'm going to do instead, anyway, though, is go crown farms. I'm going to go straight to the Arctic with this one and deliver tallow and do the exact same thing. Which is go here, 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 and all to these places and then back out again. This island doesn't even have anything on it, I don't think. Um, Alright, so let's go intermediate. Tallow. Load her up. Stick it on a... Digs is for the kids. Yeah. More likely Why not? find me out and about of an evening, seeing what's what. <laughs> That's a weird one. Uh, all right, un unload in a staggered fashion, and you should be good to go then. I think. And we'll call this. Uh, this is one of the rare Cape to Arctic routes, which I don't even think exists. Don't think so. Cape to the Arctic. Wow. Um. Yeah, I guess make a new category for it. I'm trying to think, should it go to, like, the old world first or anything? I don't know. Nah. <laughs> It'll probably end up will doing that anyway. But let's just simplify it and just make a new group then. So create a new group. And this will be a export tallow. Alright. And then down here, in this new group, wherever the hell it is. Oh my god. So many roots. There it is gonna call this uh, Cape Cape to the Arctic all right done Cape to the Arctic and that's sending tallow okay good and then with that ship as well just wait until you get a full ship and then go which you should be able to do no problem Okay, so that's now setting up two different things for the lifestyle needs that's bread so we get two extra explorers per house uh, for resident, residents. And then tallow is three extra, plus some extra heat. Now they also want hot sauce, but that's a problem for maybe a bit later if we get to it. So these things require 40 explorers. So we can get two of them online right now. And then hopefully we can deliver enough of that workforce just to get the rest of them down. Um, thinking about it though, wherever there's just heat, we should just make extra people. Because it's sort of like just the easiest thing to do really. Hopefully they're not too far from their canteen. Uh, these ones might be slightly too far. Yeah, you're too far, so forget it. There's some coll collateral damage there, but they'll, they'll be okay. <laughs> All right, how are we doing now? Still looks like actually this guy is going to be a little, little low. All right, how about that? All right, cool. So there's some extra houses. They should have enough pemmican. That should be fine. Okay, so now the trade route for beef. So we'll swap theaters all together, and we're going to build some beef down here at Alicante. We have 150 free Yornalera workforce. You don't need a fertility for beef. So we'll hop over to Obreros, open up tortillas, and there it is, beef. Electricity will provide milk if we do electrify the place. Oil is in this place. There's no power plant as such, but there is a fuel thing. And then they need corn, don't they, to get a boost. Oh, no, they need fertilizer. I think. Uh, No, it would be corn, wouldn't it? Yeah, animal farms require corn. Yeah, we could maybe deliver some corn in here then. Um, why here? I don't know. Just thought, why not? <laughs> We've got some free workforce. It could be on another island, though. I don't really mind. But I think this one's just a nice kind of blank slate so far. That's where we make our cigars in the last episode. So we'll just continue building a few of these out. And again, if they have to move, they have to move. Um, within the island, of course. All right, so we'll start with one, I don't know, boss. about there. Don't get dirt on your fancy shoes. Don't get dirt on your fancy shoes. Something like this, maybe. Another one in there. And that's done. And then you could slot this in here and be loving life. Um, maybe just like a yeah warehouse all opposite them. Not sure how much we'll need. Let's go with four. I think we have it. Lacking wood. 
Let's see if we can go get some real quick. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Engines engaged. Oh, there's wood here already. Nice. Okay. Bonk. So we need just a bit more wood for that. No problem. Alright, there we go. So that's going to be... And then they'll need some corn. So I don't know if we deliver corn. Doesn't look like it. And it's definitely called corn, right? Just to make sure. Yep. Alright, corn. Where do we make that? Corn we make too much of over in Guadalmina, Manola. Guadalmina, Manola. Mm. This is probably where it's maxed out. They also have way more than they need. Interestingly, this place never got tractors or fertilizer on its own things. But this place makes fertilizer. Alright, well, let's set up a new trade route then. So, trade route one. We'll call this corn supply. Or, well, corn delivery, really. So, delivery, corn. Fire Keep it in the new world. Ruins behind. And we know that corn's going to be coming from here largely. I'm just going to send it to one island for now, and then we'll figure out where else it'll need to go in the future. Because it don't apparently we don't do anything with it yet. All right, so let's go to New World ships. The scallop, off you go. All right, so they'll get their corn, and that'll keep things rolling nicely. All right, so that's four new cattle farms, just like that. Now, if we look at globally cattle, or beef, I should say, we're at 23 under 26. I think when they get their corn, though, that'll be more than enough. I think so. Might be cutting it fine. If it is, we'll just throw down more. We have the workforce. No, no problems. Oh, you're lacking. Oh, no. I'm missing a module with every one of them. How silly of me. Yeah, it's not going to look very good. I'm going to have to clean that up with a, a nice and dirty, nice and tidy, I should say, time lapse at some point. But uh, for now, <laughs> they'll just get their one extra thing and be fine. All right, cool. I love this just in the middle of nowhere. I'll just hide that. Just a bunch of cattle farms. What do we make on this island? Tobacco, cattle, and isn't it orchid, I think? Maybe it's herbs. Now it's orchid. Interesting island. We used to have orchards here, but I got rid of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just set up a trade route to the Arctic now. So this one's going to be a very specific route. So, because not everywhere needs beef. So this is the island that's going to get a Crater Lake. And then in the New Worlds, we're sending it from here. Uh, actually, you probably want to just pick it up at Manola, I would imagine. Might be easier. So take that one off. This would be an excellent spot for a base. <gasps> Better to pile all the goods into one place and take it away rather than to try to take it from di different islands. If you're looking st statistically globally, it's not going to work out for you if you do it that way. Um, all right, so Manola is going to be picking up all the beef and then sending it to Crater Lake. going to call this... Uh, hmm. Well, this is an Arctic to the New World. So New World to Arctic routes. So it's again, just export beef. This goes out of here and it's beef. I'm just putting a little ship on. Any standard ship, really. Although, I'm uh, thinking about it. Uh, what's it called? In a world-class reefer. I was going to call it intercontinental ship. I guess kind of. That ship can just do... It'll be mostly between continents the whole time. So, yeah. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Sending off the beef. Manola picking up the beef. Totally fine. All right. Um, Arctic. And it'll just be that one thing. And that ship is going to do it. And the tallow should be making its way now and stuff. All right. Is that it? Oh, and then, of course, the whole reason we're doing this is to get the bear fur out of here. So something I'll just do really quickly is up on this thing, we'll select these new materials. So we're looking at tallow. We're going to be looking for bread. I'm a happy person. You're a happy person. And what? Maybe bear fur? Just to see it. All right, so tallow, bread, bear fur. Actually, you know what would be more interesting? Beef. Yeah. 
Okay, so nothing's really arrived yet, but we're starting to make some bear fur. Missing goods. Yeah, they obviously just don't have beef. So we did get two for free somehow. Not really sure how I did that. Oh, if I pause it and turn it back on, can we get get the ball rolling? What would happen if I took the item out and then put him back in? Hey, look at that. I'm cheesing the game. We don't have beef. Take the item out, put him back in. Boom, you get one bear fur for free. There you go. Free resources. <laughs> Um, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Right, so we'll just set up our trade route then to deliver this stuff back. Now, interestingly, this isn't the only island to make bear fur. So ultimately, we'll have to deliver bear fur from this island to this one and then take it out of there. I think that's still the right thing to do. I don't want to pile... There's very limited space on this one to do anything else, but I, if it's already got bear fur there, I think it's okay to add a little extra traffic. Okay, and this will just be a regular ship doing this. We'll go to the Arctic and anything, sea sponge, and just call this, um, so it's delivery. It's just one very specific thing, but I'm fine with that, I guess. All right, that's it. Now, we want to set a limit on this. Only do that. Well, actually, no, we don't. Yeah, we don't need it here, thinking about it. Ah, you know what would be better? You could also take the goose feathers, because you're probably never going to have to do that much. Goose feathers will be a lot less, so let's do this. The goose feathers is, is a byproduct. Um, so let's do that as well. Okay, bonk. Alright, so yeah, what is it? It's like every seven cycles we get goose feathers. And there'll be five of these operational, and it's every minute. And it'll be at 150% productivity or something. So, I don't know, every 45 seconds, five are made. So roughly every minute, I think we get one goose feather, something like that, I think. <laughs> Close to that. Man, we're lacking, uh, we've got problems here. I think it's that they're out of, uh, let's see, what are they out of? I don't wanna get distracted, but yeah, canned food and sleds, okay. Canned food, yeah, that's a problem. We'll have to fix that at some point. Um, I think I'm good to just let time play now because the trade routes are all set up. Did I set up? The, I have to set the, the very last one, which is bear fur back home, right? To the old world. So this is the one that Arctic to old world. There we go. It's the delicacies, delicacies ship. So I'm just going to turn that one off and then create a new one with a brand new ship going from here to the old world. And it's just going to do... Maybe it could do two things rather than just one. To get this right, because space is so limited for the dock space over here, because we need the whaling stations, I'll have to look at how much we produce, or how much they consume I think would probably be better. So let's do bear fur, and we'll type in swords. Five per minute. Ah. What about goose feathers? One. All right, I think I'll set up a similar route where we do King William Island to the Old World. And it's going to go to Lusk and then get delivered from there. Because, of course, we have to deliver these things for investors in Cape Trelawney. It's not just here. So do Goose Feathers twice. Or actually, yeah, twice. And then do Bear Fur the rest of the time. It's not an agricultural product. Oh, sorry, it's because I had already typed it in. I don't know if that's going to get messy or not. I'll have to figure it out, but um, I think it'd be okay. All right, so this is a... The route is Old World to Arctic, is it? Or Arctic to Old World? Arctic to Old World. So it's bear fur exports. Alrighty, anyway, so this is all very messy. I'll just try to recap what's going on. So basically, let's go over things. What we've just done. So we built this area here by placing three items in it. The Bait Specialist, the Tolko, the Trapper, and the Bow of the Lanu. It means that we don't actually need bare fertility here, but it does mean that we have to build these within the radius of this. To do that, to get it closer, I have the 
Bow of the Lanou, which increases forest density. And then this guy, instead of requiring just raw land, it's going to require an input, so beef. Beef is really easy to make though, so it's not a big problem. Beef should start getting delivered soon. We're after just getting our tallow delivered, so we can turn these on now. And you can see that we have 55 extra explorers already. And we haven't even delivered their other thing yet, which is bread. And that'll be on the way soon enough. The ship is, has been told to wait until it has 300 before coming up here. Hot sauce or whatever, that's a problem for another day. Or at least later in today's episode if I get to it. But at least this is uh, looking good. They just need more beef. So where's that first beef ship? It's loaded up. It's on the way. Oh, it's actually here. It's oh, just delivered brain. it. Literally just now. 300. Nice. So that beef means that we can start making bear fur. And then that bear fur means we can start exporting it over to the different islands it needs to go to. So it's going to head over here first to my kind of, quote, capital island. And then another ship, as you can see, they're actually in a line waiting. Another ship is then going to take it out of here and bring it back to Lusk. Lusk is going to separate it out from sending it to the investors here on the Old World, but also the ones in the... in um. Cape Trelawney. So Cape Trelawney has investors. Now, they need their bear fur as much as anyone. So we're going to have to make sure they get it. So to do that, we're going to create two routes. Two last routes. A trade route in the old world. Lusk. Two swords. We're going to load up bear fur. And it's five per minute. I'm just wondering, can I get away with doing like slightly less? Yeah, I think three here. At least. Uh, and then we can add something onto this. So I'll have to figure out what that's going to be. Ideally, if it's going to be a 5 per minute consumption rate, you want to find something else that's 5 per minute to add on as well. So I'll look at that maybe in between episodes because I could look for a while. Uh, so let's just call this... Hmm. Well, it's a delivery. Bear and question mark. So I'll know to search question marks for empty, excuse me, empty ships in future. Old world. There we go. Uh, didn't give it a ship. Old world. We don't need an engine on it or anything. Just give it a standard one. All right. Let's try that. That should be bear fur. <laughs> that was a lot. That took like 35 minutes Credit or something. But that should be it. How are you doing for everything else? Everything else seems fine. Everything else seems stable. I've, I've been looking into the statistics as well, as I mentioned at the beginning, which is uh, you can look at that production over time or storage over time, which is quite interesting of a good. So stock over time. So it's like, oh, okay, let's say, for instance, we did penny farthings just recently. This is what their stock has been. So as long as it's not hitting the bottom, it means that, yeah, they've, they've maintained it and it's stable and it's, it's going up. So I could do that for every single good that we have and just be like, yeah, have we ever run out of it? Yes, no whatever one other one i'd like to just check really quickly is cigars in that same screen just because we did just set that up and i never really checked on it cigars consumption rate there they are stock over time boom look at this oh man they're full up full up it's really consistent actually it's quite good slight gain as well which is good to see um, but as they grow, right, they consume more, I think. So I don't know how that all works, <laughs> to be honest. So we'll see. Because it used to be a household consumes a set number of things. But then they changed it when the High Life came out so that the more people there are in a resident, uh, in a residence, then they consume more. Now, I don't know if that's for everything or if it's just for the high rises. I think it's for everything, but I actually just don't know. But if that's the case, it means that the more these houses grow with all the other things we're giving them, the more demand they have for everything. That seems almost impossible to figure that out um, and maintain that, but maybe not. Maybe it's not that, that extreme. It could just be the high rises, which would make a bit more sense, I think. Um, but anyway, we'll just keep an eye on it. So bear for it. Next one is going to be tapestries. And that is a pain. And then perfumes, fans, and film reel. We could try with some of these. We're also hitting some big numbers. 140,000 we just passed. Um, which means we're getting back up to pre-war levels and pre-war money as well. We had a billion. We're getting close to that again. So things are stabilizing. You can see it. Barely, but they are. And yeah, the mail is going to keep fluctuating things. 
Um, all right, so tapestries. I just we'll let that run in the background now on triple speed and just see how it goes. Actually, we'll just put it back to normal speed. Now heading back down to Embesa. Oh, actually, I meant to check on that beef. Just see, the, is it done? Yeah, it's thirty over twenty nine. So that seems like it's fine. Production just went through the roof over consumption. Some of them have stalled for whatever reason at Alicante. Oh, is the storage full? It is. <laughs> All right, we could build a little extra storage then. Because you're not even able to store up 300. You need to be able to at least carry 300, right? So 275 is our limit there. All right, there's 300. Airborne and ready to go. Skies are clear. All right, cool. Okay, diving headfirst on into tapestries. The weird thing with this area is, you may remember, I deleted this whole section here. Don't see any knock-on effect from that at all. <laughs> Don't know how, but apparently, like, whatever we made over there, it's uh, totally fine. A lot of time has passed since that, and we are fine. You know what I'd actually like to do? Maybe sort out that hot sauce situation. It might change the future, but it would be nice to get some hot sauce produced. So hot sauce is a, an interesting one that came with the DLC, right? For the Haciendas in the New World. Globally, we need 12, and we don't produce any. Now... The people that need hot sauce, if I recall correctly, are here in Embesa and also the Arctic. I don't think anyone else requires it. Um, let me just check who needs it then. So you guys don't, but you guys do? Yeah, so they get two extra shepherds per household if you deliver some hot sauce and some jam. Um, but then what else? Do, what do they need in the Arctic for it? How many people do they get? At least there's a faint heat. Three. Hey, they have their bread, finally, which is good to see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if this runs out before they get their next batch. So I'll monitor the stock over time for these, which would be good to know. And then how are you doing for this? Yeah, all good. In fact, I'll just switch this to bear fur so we can see both. So you're getting this, this, and this in order to make this. That's basically what's happening here. <laughs> and they've got, look at all the extra population I have. I don't even need so many people here. But they're all self-sufficient anyway, so it's not a problem, right? They're all living off their own stuff. Yeah, we've got more than enough pemmican, and they'll never need to grow to consume oil lamps. So, yeah, done. This, I mean, maybe we'll need other things in the future, more goose feathers, whatever, I don't know. But for now, like, totally done, right? Locked away. Set and forget. Shouldn't have any issues. Oh, one thing that they are missing. Ranger station. Just in case they have a fire. Keep that Arctic flu chance down as well, you know? Make him happy. Alright, great. So, hot sauce. Hot sauce in the New World. I think you can only make it in the New World. I don't know. Let's just quickly check items. Hot sauce. The only thing that comes up is selecting it as part of the Hacienda, actually. But yeah, that's just going to be things that affect Hacienda. I don't think any of these items give you hot sauce, for instance. Just flicking through the tooltip. Didn't see it. <laughs> um, all right, then, if that's the case. So our hacienda is here. And then we need a brewery. Zero of them are currently making hot sauce. They can make their own beer here. Hmm. They can make rum. This is intriguing. Oh, rum. That's another issue I've written down to do something else with. Uh, so to make hot sauce, we need spices, correct? This city is a magnet for G. Yeah, yeah. So you need spices. Okay. How much spices do we make globally? We make them in Inbesa. We're making 20. They're full up right now because it doesn't go anywhere. They're consuming... Somehow... What consumes spices? Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember what actually consumes those. Oh, the seafood stew. Yeah. Anything else that would consume it? So it's consumed in a teff mill. Now, the only place I think we ever have them are over here. We've got four of them. It says we've got four on island. Let's see if I can find them. There they are. And they're just full, are they? I'm just going to pause all those and just see, is that my total? It is. So there you go. That's a good... Well, actually, hang on. Uh, we're consuming one spices somewhere, somehow. 
don't know how. Oh, because we just built a brewery. Okay, yeah, perfect. So that's good. Good to know. I was just trying to trace back, you know, where do we... What's consuming spices and where do they get... Where is that? So it's here. All right. And they're doing that in order to get their spiced flour, and that's to make the seafood stew. Got it. All right, cool. So they're just all connection. I think all trips are largely... Oh, no, they're actually sending stuff over. I was going to say, I thought everything was cut between these islands, but I guess not. Okay, so what we can do is... We've got space on the island. This is the island called Bird's Eye, named after the chilies, Bird's Eye chilies. And obviously we make spices here. But what they don't do is we have oil. There's an oil station here. You'll need to get your hands dirty. And they're all feeding into there. But what we're not making is the fertilizer. So really quickly, fertilizer, multi-regional ship fertilizer. It's going to add this place on. This is such a terrible route, but I think we make enough. And this is bird's eye. Now, to be a little cheeky, I'm going to go up ahead of certain other islands real quick. This one. See if that works out. Don't know if it will. Might just stick a couple extra ships on there. All right. So we should be delivering fertilizer here now. So this is going to give me a decent boost, but this place was designed a long time ago and space is tight. It's actually really hard to see even where this place begins and ends. So it ends there. Okay, yeah. So we got some space around the back, which is good. Just trying to think how to do this then. What if I was to go like this? Two, three, and four. Because then you can put in a silo here, right? And you can put in a silo here. We've all this... Well, let's just get rid of those ornaments for a moment. And let's start painting. With the fertile... Oh, right. So it has to be fertile. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's going to be tricky. How much uh, canal space do we have? Oh, I've got loads. That's good. Hmm. Okay. Let's try there. And then I think what I could do is run a canal through the middle of them. Just to really get that last little bit in the back there. Now, what are you for modules? You're tied up as well. And what about you? 195. You got space. These guys got space for more canal space. One eighty four at a one ninety two. That gets you to one ninety two. Perfect. Okay. So that's gonna get its boost once it gets its fertilizer. It gives an extra hundred percent and some extra spices, just generally speaking. This is gonna be doing the same then as well. All right. So I gotta work from the outside in then, don't I? Oh, yeah, not a big deal. All right, so this is your whole thing, is it? Your whole shtick. I mean, if I have the canal space, let's use it. So that's how much you can use over there. And then you can trim away some fat in here. So this is the guy I got to focus on next. He's 190 out of 192. There's no module space for me to fix the rest in. This is done really weird. Alright, let's just cut this away. Let's cut this away. That should be enough, I think. Can I actually... Yeah, I can curve around still with that. Alright, try to get these up to 192 then. And that's that one. Uh, so you're going to also then need your own silo here. And you can work your way up. 192. So let's just go to there and loop it around. There's so much nice space here, actually. I feel like, yeah, you could come in a bit. I think they'll swallow it. Oh, they'll swallow it. 
Yeah, it doesn't take much to prepare more land, you're right. 185, and there you go. And you, sir, are already done, pretty much. So, maybe just cut this away? Uh, not that bit. Don't even, I've got even too much. Oh yeah, but you can also then have a um, silo in here as well. Yeah, policing silo on this one is a bit awkward. There is space at the back. Okay, um, so what I could do then, just cut this away for a moment. Uh, okay, let's do it this way. Ah, uh, but then it w yeah, I could. Ah, uh, damn, still can't get around. It's probably a much easier and obvious solution. Obviously, a road needs to connect to these as well, which is another thing I'm trying to factor in. But yeah, you could just do that, I suppose. I think I was overcomplicating it myself. Don't know if you need that anymore because they did make a change to it recently. Cool. All right, so it's using way more than it needs, but at least it looks kind of nice. All right, so that's silos added to all of our spice fields, except for this one. This one I might just have to leave because of the way it is. So let's just check really quickly. Fertilizer, how are we doing for it? 15 over 14. Some of it not operational right now. Why is that? Not enough dung, is it? Or just not getting delivered quickly enough? Dung, available to reserve 10, zero in storage. It seems like um, storage slowdown. Hmm, that's strange. I had the icons hidden actually, so now we could probably see. So these are the things making it. And do they... I can't even remember how this building works. This is, it's a radius around it, yeah, and it collects things from animal farms, got it. Hmm, we could do that in um, Manola as well, actually, to make a little bit more. Don't see why not. Not that I really need it, but if it's uh, starting to fall a bit low, which it seems to be, could start thinking about it. So, fertilizer works. There it is. And this has to be pr placed around animal farms. So, like the alpacas, for instance, yeah? They're actually missing a... Um, where? How are you missing a warehouse? There's one right next to you. Oh, there's no road. <laughs> so you'll collect a little bit from the alpacas. And what are these? These, Yeah, these are alpaca wool. There's more alpaca wool in there. Yeah, a lot of this stuff's going to have to change. God damn, there's so much to do all the time. But for the animal farms, I think they're, they're the only two and then some here. I don't think I've got any on the other side of the island, do I? Nope, doesn't seem to be. All right, well, it's just another problem for another day, um, which isn't too big of an issue, really. I could just move these now. What are they taking in? So they're making alpaca wool. Storeroom's full, boss. So you're heading just into the storage. Are you bringing it to anywhere else? You're bringing it straight to the felt producers. Mm -hmm. There's no trade unions affecting these guys, so I don't mind disrupting it. It was just sort of a place to put them. One, two, and what are these doing? These are doing Nandu leather. Ooh. These make salt pepper as a byproduct for being electrified. Um, that extra fertilizer works might be enough though, just to leave it for a bit. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, anyway, the long and short of it is that these guys are now making spices. So very simply, they seem to have a lot anyway. Um, and when they get their extra deliveries over time, they should do even better. And we can always have room for more if we really need to. So what we'll just do is set up a trade route um, from Embesa, Bird's Eye. And that's going to go to... Hmm. If hot sauce can only be made in the New World, then you want to just take it straight there then, I guess. No one seems to use it elsewhere, right? Just very quickly. 
The one thing I'm thinking of is what about the restaurants? Really, no restaurant Star or anything hand, uses. But stocks are low. None of them use this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see spices anywhere. Kind of surprising. Well, there's definitely more pages. What else can we flick through? So this is the last page. Oh, no, there isn't more pages. Just this two per page. Uh, drinks? Could it be? Engineers. It's a rare kind of individual who has leisure. Aha, uh -huh, I knew there'd be one. So nobody has this chosen. Reduces rum, schnapps, and champagne. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I don't need it then. The Embasin Sunrise. That's a cool name for a drink. What Just do these guys consume? Okay. Um, and that'd be it. It wouldn't be a dessert, I don't think. <laughs> Spicy dessert. I mean, maybe. What's your poison, then? So you've got bars. I, can't, I can barely remember this stuff, guys. It's been so long. Bar, cafe, and what's the other one called? Restaurant. Oh, right, cafe. Does the dessert type things. Well, that's what I just checked, isn't it? I did, must have not checked the restaurant then. New dawn, new day, new dishes. There's got to be some spicy food in here. Really? Oh my god. For those wondering, my favorite food is Indian food. My favorite dish is... Well, it doesn't have to be chicken, but I normally get chicken chili garlic. With some garlic naan bread. Pilau rice. Pretty good. In fact, I would eat... I would argue that I could eat that every day for the rest of my life. I'd be totally happy with that. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to get my head straight. So back to Mbesa really quickly. Set up the trade route. We know that spices only have to travel now. From Mbesa to the New World, into Manola. That's basically where it's got to go. So Bird's Eye, Trade Route, Mbesa, Bird's Eye, New World, Manola. There we are. Load All up. Better. All better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Anyone can do it. There's a ship in Mbesa can get started with it. Yeah, why not? Get him in there. So it's going to be Enbesa to the New World. And that is export spices. Got him. All right. Just notice as well the store. Oh. You don't need these anymore. Because they storage is quite low. So we can increase that. And then we'll head back over to the New World. We'll just slam down temporarily, of course, uh, a bunch of breweries making hot sauce. So we've got one over there. Two, three, four. Until we have enough. What am I missing? I'm missing wood. I'm missing timber. Oh, didn't they go on strike last episode and I said I don't need them? <laughs> uh, let's see. You're largely being consumed. Hmm, that's funny. Well, here's what we do about that. Maybe if I was 20 years younger. You better start acting like it. Come to watch. That's going to be nowhere near the uh, warehouse. Let's get into the warehouse in there. Hmm. Alright, whatever. I'll just have to wait. It says 101 now. <laughs> How did that go up so much just suddenly? Is there a delivery of, con of wood coming here? Planks. Oh yeah, the ship I had delivering construction materials actually offline. This one's doing it. Alright. Uh, right, cool. Anyway, so, long story short, we can just... I should have selected the recipe beforehand, but we'll just start brewing these things. Hot sauce.
Still and that should be it. So tomorrow. spices will get delivered here, and that'll be four batches of hot sauce being made. Uh, let me just see. Hot sauce. Consumer good. That doesn't seem very good. We're producing four. Is it one per minute? And we need 12. It is only one per minute. But it's going to get electricity. Doesn't that mean it's double, or does it require electricity? Let's find out. I don't think it requires it, so it should be eight per minute, which means we only need two more. In theory. I think. <laughs> so let's see. So I'll just speed up time. Let's get this spice delivery done, and then the, we're going to have to create one more trade route. So, the, funnily enough, actually, the guy that's delivering beef to here seems to be carrying, like, way too much, right? We don't need this much. So maybe on the beef route, New World to the Arctic, we could say that don't just go with beef, also bring some hot sauce. You won't need that much. So it's just this island, very specific to this island. Oh, wait, hot sauce actually needs to be delivered for multiple people, doesn't it? Yeah, never mind then. Because it has to go to different people. I forgot that. So yeah, it'll have to be its own route. Okay, so trade route. Um, new world, starting in Manola. Go to the old world. Nope, go to uh, the Arctic. You need to load up on hot sauce. Not that. Hot sauce. Any ship that's already in the new world. Don't know why I can't see new world. We're looking at New World now. Click, idle, Arctic. It must be because I opened it from the Arctic. Anyway, just go idle ships. There's one in the New World. We'll say this is a export hot sauce. And basically, you're going to go from New World to Arctic. And when we get to the Arctic, you're going to deliver it to every island that needs it. So start here. Um, well, it needs it's every island that has technicians, isn't it? I think it's technician only. So glaciers only have technicians for me. And I think that's it. And King William Island. So let's just deliver to there. Never mind. No, it's Explorer. Sorry, we just looked at it. Okay, so if it's Explorer, then I'll have to do that staggered thing I've done before. So hot sauce. All right, so it's going to go there. Then here, then here, here. 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 Just trying to organize the route so it makes sense. That's pretty good. Um, maybe down like that. Yeah, so you come in, you go around, you deliver out. All right, and then we stagger it. So, um... Crater Lake, because I think their consumption rates of these things are so low anyway that it shouldn't really be a problem. Okay, try that. <laughs> and then you wait. Wait until you get them. So it will cause a bit of a traffic buildup, but I'm okay with that. So someone else will also need to go do this, but do it in Embesa. And Embesa, it is for the lower class guys as well, the first tier resident. All right, so this should be the last trader of the episode. Um, so New World, again, we'll start at Manola. Load good. Hot sauce. Max it out. Off you go. And then go to Embesa. And then it'll be every island that we're living on currently. So let's just try... I think it'll be... Here. And then... Indiegogo. Play supplier. Rock lobster. And then here and then out. So let's try that. Unload, unload, unload. Wait to load as well. So it does mean that we've got two ships now exporting hot sauce. And both of them are waiting at Manola. So this is going to be New World to Embesa. Embesa New World. Technically, this is called an import. So that's where the naming convention messes up a bit. All right, let's try that. So I'll keep time sped up because it would just be nice to get that done for this episode at least. So 
We're now producing hot sauce. It's now being boosted. So I'll just quickly check it here. Hot sauce, six per minute. Wow. So we do need to just straight up double it, which means we'll probably need a lot of spices. Um, let's just check our spices right now. 20 for 20. So we're nice and even now, but unfortunately we have to double this up. That is a lot, isn't it? It feels like that's kind of a lot, but apparently it has to be done. How thrilling. A renowned personage has arrived. Okay, so they got their spices delivered, I guess. How much did they get? 300, pretty much. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I feel like I've taken this on a bit too early because it seems like you need quite a lot for it. And obviously, the workforce is just insane. This would definitely need trade unions or something, right? It needs some some sort of help because it's, it's not really sustainable on its own. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to get that done, but oh well. Oh well, indeed. Interesting that they need Tef grass. Yeah, so what I'll have to do then is just let's turn some of these off then. Can't sustain that. I can barely even sustain the ones I just put down. Interesting though. And something I want to do as well. You don't need that anymore. Shine your blow lamp on this, would ya? I suppose I could do this. Just take the hit for a little while. Hope for the best with what we have. Yeah, obviously that's a problem for another day. I, I shouldn't really be focusing on Arctic stuff anyway. It was just, I just thought maybe it'd be kind of nice if we delivered the bread and the tallow. It'd be nice to get the hot sauce done as well. But like I said, we might end up needing more of these guys in the future. And it's, just, it's actually true for the base as well. I guess I just got distracted by the fun of it. Um, can we put this in somewhere where it would make sense? They need heat. Puts them down to 92%. Forget it then. <laughs> These ones are okay though. Alright, well I'll probably leave it at that. So, I mean, that was basically... <laughs> that's insane. But what I just did was do bear fur. I mean, that was it. But bear fur is here. And it should be set now. I mean, if we just check it. How it did in the end. Bear fur. All islands. 10 over 8. So we're, we have the correct amount. So it's delivered here successfully. Has it been delivered here successfully yet? Not yet. I definitely did do that, right? Oh, I don't think I did. I have it set up to go to... Um... Yeah, Lusk, but I never actually set it up to go from there. This, Where's this one go from? Crater Lake to King William Island. I'll have to categorize that later as well. Startling Arctic, Arctic Old. She really wants to land on that island. Alright, last trade route then to make sure it goes here would be Cape Trelawney. Alright, sir, you're to load up with bear fur, and I might do what I did with the other one, which is load up just three slots. And see how that handles it. So that's gonna be Cape to Arctic. So import bear fur. Alrighty. I mean, this is such a hassle to do all this, <laughs> um, but we are get we are getting through it. I'm happy to see this number climbing. We're up to 142,000 now, so it's a it's a testament to the fact that obviously the needs have been met in a lot of these places, and, and things are stabilizing. Um, so I'm happy about that. But it it can feel very grindy going through just trade routes constantly. Um, the next one though is going to be tapestries. So I'm going to look in between episodes what to do, and then we get straight into it. Um, it's going to be a lot of building in Mbesa, I guess. And I'll try to make more permanent decisions down here that aren't so temporary. I mean, this is pretty permanent. But it looks like this place is going to have to grow a lot to sustain the amount of spices we need for quite a large hot sauce um, intake. So we'll have to have even more of these guys. Or I'll look at items or something. I mean, there's no items that affect these things. One, actually, so this is called a brewery, right? Hacienda Brewery? All Hacienda breweries. Yeah, so maybe I'll look through this and see, like, is it, if there's anything specific to the Hacienda buildings. I don't think so. It looks like it says all production buildings for everything. Drink production. That's interesting. You can drink hot sauce. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll do that. Reduce the workforce. Boost it a bit or something. Try to make it easier because it's uh, 30, 
You want a Laris? I guess it's not that much, really. But the amount of spices, I think, will be the thing that really gets me. Um, but other than that, felt like I actually got a lot done, I guess. You know, we built all these cattle farms. We set up trade from here. We increased fertilization, uh, fertilization, fertilizer production. And then we built out this whole new island. It's self-sufficient. It has more people than it needs. It's got its tallow, its bread, its beef. We're exporting bear fur here to King William Island. And they're then taking the bear fur from there back to the old world, sending it to this place. Well, ultimately, hey, thanks, Benty. Ultimately sending it down here, which then distributes it both to this this island and then now Cape Trelawney as well. Which just to 100% triple. Yeah, I did just set that up. Okay, good. So that should be it. That's bear fur. Done. It shouldn't ever have to be made again. Ever. So cross it off the list. Furs are off the list. All of this is off the list. It's all done. And should only get easier as we go lower down the residence. These next four things will be a pain though. Tapestries, there's a lot involved. Just to very quickly look at it. For tapestries, what we're going to be dealing with is linseed, indigo, linen, and then making it in a tapestry loom. There are things to help with that. And I think actually we have some items in place already boosting them. Uh, so that's what I'll be working on. Alright, looking forward to it. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.